Okay, I've got myself set up here. I drew it out. I don't know if you can see it. It's going to be basically an onion on a uh, blanket. Seen the blanket first, and I really liked the way it was laid out, and I thought, okay, and thought, what can I put on it? And first thing I seen in the room, <laughs> when I looked in the kitchen, was this uh, onion. So I decided, okay, I'm gonna put an onion in there and a couple of grapes, just to give it a th two grapes, just to give it a thing of three. So I'm gonna, I'm using some pan pastel here, and uh, this is basically dominant yellow. So it's probably going to be a little dirty, which is okay because I need it to have it fade here anyway. So so I'll just go to the dark areas till I finally pick up some cleans up. You're better off to, I find, uh, use use. Uh, applicators for one color or light colors and the other one for dark colors but since I uh, looks like it's got a little green so I must have been using it for blue that's okay so what I'm doing is just basically laying down color here I'm going to use uh, purple and yellow complements it looks more green but I'll make that yellow Maybe my other applicator might work a little better. Let's try it. Which it might. Okay, this is going to be the edge of the blanket here. A little better. Well, you know, I'm really getting fed up here. <laughs> Let's go with my little, you know, pen, my pastel. I have other paper that I use. This is a uh, pastel mat, I think. But I have my own paper that I found that I really, really enjoy. It holds many, many layers. I hope my hands aren't getting in the way. But anyways, you're gonna you have to let's get it up around there. I'm just going to get the base color here of the blanket. Like that. Get the get the shapes going. Another one there. And that goes up there. It's gotta come around. And down through there is going to be the line, like that. A little greener there. This shadow has to come up in this area after. Uh, I could probably move that yellow around there a little bit. This comes around up on the table in there. And this is just looks round. This, very lightly, we're going to, I'm not pushing too hard, same thing back, oops, same thing back here, I want to transfer some color, I want it darker so your eye doesn't disappear, and a little bit of yellow back there, okay, and I want that dark back there, so pretty well, and up front is going to be a table, it's going to be laying on a table, so right now, I'm just going to soften this up a little bit. Let's see how we get going here. Hopefully this won't take too long. I could have used a dark paper, a black paper actually. Okay, then it comes in here. And I'll put the table in there so you sort of get the idea how this is going to go. And then also for me to keep the flow going. 
This is an idea of where I'm going. Okay, and this is going to be an edge here. This blanket comes around. Cuts the edge and comes around like that. Hits the table. Comes over here, here. Then we'll come up there. Does that look like it might work? I think so. Like that, like that, like that. This, like this. And here, down through here. Give that more of a curve here. Give it a bit nicer look. Don't like anything straight, especially if it's going to be a blanket. It falls off into there. Uh, they want to sharpen this edge a little bit more. Bring it over to here. This because this is a nice fold. That one. Where it comes into this one, and then up and around. Okay, I think I have start again, so let's work with this. As you notice, I'm losing the tip here because this is like sanded paper. Very good. So this pretty well get the base color and my base drawing to where I'm starting it. Like I said, I would have used a darker pastel mat, but kind of running out because once I found that other material I never bought any more pastel now. I'm just using up what I got here. Plus I'm experimenting with it again to see how it performs against the material that I'm using now. And it's, uh, it's, it spreads about the same way. Okay. Get that in there. You might be able to start seeing how this is going to go. I'm going to get some yellow up in this area behind my grape, like that. You might not be able to tell. This is the edge of the blanket actually right here because it comes up and falls around it. Comes up into a beautiful edge here. And then that's what kind of <laughs> drew me to the blanket. It had a perfect come around and get your eye going again. And the folds were a little bit of a challenge. You know, it's always new stuff. Okay, I don't. I want it to fade away from my onion up here. I don't want to go too crazy. I'm just gonna put a little yellow back there. It's gonna be dark. I don't know. Dark, I'm going to put back there yet. But do you see the flow guy got going there? Now, in the shadows, I'll probably be going, uh, let's use my fingers. I like pastel mat also because you know you can actually rub your fingers over it and nothing really disappears under there. The other material that I use is sort of the same way. Okay, I'm just going to smoothen this out because i got to put some dark back there and hopefully some of this yellow will pop through. Okay, so that's, that's my start. I kind of got a start. Okay, now it's some pencil work or... No, maybe not. Maybe we'll... Uh, going to get... Get the shape here going. Maybe catch the light coming in from the right. We'll strive for that, anyways. That for that. And I'm just going to put a little lighter pink on this side. Pink first, just along the top, just along the front edge. Okay, then a lighter 
purple over top of that pink and a little bit of dark doesn't really matter this is a darker purple here and we got it's very important these edges are after that we get that right in the dark area in here probably some up along in here we'll break it off like a, an onion then I'll come in probably there with darker colors and okay so I sort of got the start of that oh, I need my Grape. Don't forget about your grape. And that is, I'm going to start with this color first here. Another one right there. Give it a red feel. Sitting in front of the overlapping each, all of it. Okay, so let's try this again. Uh, clean off my applicator and blend this in here and there. I'm not going to though, I covered it again. It just wants to be covered. Okay, so start like that, and then I'm also now going to work because there's got some of this purple on here already I'm going to start working this in behind here because this has got to be dark and also in here where it goes underneath the black and I'm going to steal some that's why I like about these applicators I have an oil painter and uh, I love palette knives and when I got into uh, pastel I found that oops works uh, a little darker there that it uh, works the same way sort of as oil does where you can work this palette knife here and it's such a I don't know I really, I really enjoy it okay here I'm going to start going here where these uh, folds are you probably see it come together as we go here this is rounded out, out in front here. I'm just going to steal from there because I don't want too much. Uh, this one will come in here. That's what's so nice about pastel. You can, <laughs> you can borrow color. Okay, I want to come here a little bit sharper maybe. Considering purple mint, purple is complement. They go good together. Okay, we're going to fix up, get rid of that harshness coming there. Okay, a little bit there, and then obviously through here, we're going to get some shade coming. did an image like this for a exhibition and got juried in with this little composition. It was in the fall. I called it, uh, I think it was the last days of summer. And I was inspired by the blanket and once I put uh, the, the onion in there, <laughs> I thought it was kind of sunbathing. So, okay, now I'm going to... So I thought, well, yeah, that's it. Uh, you know, fall fall comes coming right now. You're not going to be around too much longer, so you best sunbathe as much as you possibly can. Okay, there we go. I'm going to maybe move that color in there a little bit. I'm going to darken it up in here. There is going to be a table under here, so I'm going to go gray first. Because once I put the dark color, I don't want, I want hopefully a little bit of this might shine through. 
trying to keep the line going there where I think the table is going to be. So you just see a hint of it there. And up in here. And back here. Because you're going to see that table. So I'm just going to go like that. Okay. And the rest very lightly back there. Well, it's going to be dark anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but you're going to, the table is going to be back there, obviously, because it's laying on the table, so. Okay, so that, that part there, then another soft black, we will now start going around here. And under. Try not to leave any harsh lines here. Very lightly back there. And then I'm leaving that gray right there. I'm just going to go underneath it here. I got a piece of tape there to hold this paper down so it doesn't move on me. Like that. Okay, and then I'm going to have to put some dark up in this area. Make it look like it's folding that also excuse my arm up in this area okay now hopefully we can blend all that in well it's going to want to take more color it seems so we'll just spread what we can and then put more if so needed Like I would have used black paper because the paper I use comes in black. No other color. <laughs> and I like black because I can seem to get my values right away. See this is a weird color underneath here. It was the closest I thought <laughs> might come to my yellow and cover up here. Now this area here, because I don't want the, the pink to shine through. I'm just going to pretend there's a fold back there, and then maybe fade into the table there. This is going to have to be darker, but I just want to get a feel for it. But you might see the comp composition coming together a little bit more. There and this to come down through here, still on there, there. Okay, getting closer. Now it looks brown, anyways. Stuff underneath here, this still has to go. I'll pick up the color here, just go over that gray. Just want to dull it. Make it sort of disappear. I want to make it look like the blanket has folding back here somehow. Lighten it up. Put a fold in here. Give it that area. Go like that. Try to make it look like a tail. I got to put some yellow back in here. Maybe I'll go like this. Uh, there, that's better. Now I can work the back there a little bit and give that a little bit of, make that yellow stick out a little bit more. There, that's better. Make it almost see, it looks like the blanket's back there doing something else. And the table's sitting here, we'll try to keep it straighter. Okay, so that's pretty well the start of it. I don't know how long this is going to take, but my original one was in oil. And then right here, it's going to be shadow. And that's what's sort of going to bring this together here. This piece is that shadow. And I, one here, 
You're not going to know where it comes from. And off of here. But it won't matter. You might think it's a window, a frame giving off shadow. All it's doing right now is framing that. That is a little. I'm going to take a little bit off the front here, as much as I can anyways. Glow, okay. So, we have uh, my stump. So I like using my stumps for blending. They work really well. You can push pretty hard with these. You know, they react not bad. I'm just blowing a little bit. I shouldn't be, but... And another thing I would be doing is turning this paper upside down, because sometimes it's easier to work from the other way. But because I'm stuck with the camera being where it is, I have no choice right now but to do it this way. And now I want this over here because this has to look like it's going over something. That it's continuing here. Okay, so like that. And then we're going to put these, if I can move some of this color around. I'm going to put an edge here. And I'm going to sharpen this one up. That. Okay, and then I'm going to make little I'm steal some color. I'm going to put an edge on it and then come over. And I'm drawing with this thing right now, as you notice. It's just what it has on it. And I'm making a, an edge like they have and then some creases try to make it look like it's uh, the end of the, the bed or the blanket. You can steal a little more so I can get in there and make it look like it's creased like that. I'm going to steal a little color here that I got beside me. I just dip this into this browner pastel, that uh, stick, so I can paint with it. And then make some marks here, and then I've got it coming around, it's not straight across, to give it that uh, blanket some form. Okay, and then here it'll be coming into shade because it's flipping around. So, so now I got it like that and we'll fade it back here because I want this faded. I don't want anything taken away from this. I gotta get more color here. Okay like that. Right, coming down there. This here. Then the same thing. Let's do some pencil work now. I got uh, a purple and a violet. So now I'm just going to start. I think this is the violet. It's almost dark enough there already. It comes around here. And right near in this corner here, I'm going to put a little purple. Just to maybe possibly reflecting off that onion. Now it's a big, because there's going to be some over here too on that 
grape or whatever it's going to be. Okay, so like that. This is it sort of folds over into the table. We're going to have to get rid of that a little bit just to give you that illusion. Especially if we start the yellow, bring it a little bit farther past than this one. Okay, it'll look like it coming off the table that way. I'm going to give it some light here. And then that also. A little bit of shadow up there and behind here, and very lightly. So now it looks like it hit the table and, and is bouncing around now. Like I said, when I when I seen the blanket, I thought, gee, that uh, it's got the perfect folds for something. And now under here, I would are getting black but anyways I'm good I'm working here for now and very lightly very lightly lightly same thing here here we're gonna get an edge going here and then something towards there around here Then I'm going to put yellow, obviously, up up in here, right up against that purple. And it's going to be pretty yellow in there, adding white to it. Same thing here. Anything that's going to be touching that purple is going to be fairly yellow. But that's in the finishing touches. Right now I'm trying to get that and I need a little white just to start bringing this yellow out a little bit more. Mix it with the yellow underneath. Get a bright little brighter thing going on here. Okay now we're getting some form going here. And now pretty well I want some uh, color in behind here because we're going to be in shade in here so it's pretty well well what do I do here okay, I'm gonna pick up some of this darker brown since that's closer to yellow than black is because I need to come around here and sh shade my my onions my onion I want disappeared here. And then I want to lose that shadow there. So I got to get that disappeared and blend that in there so that I kind of lose that side. I'm going to have to work that shadow. Okay, but anyways, go soft here, right there. I don't want to go too high. Get rid of it there though, like that, and that a little softer up in there, because have got to lose it. I'm going to put a little black in there, probably give me grief, but, because I hate pushing too hard, because I'll, <laughs> and there's tape there, that's why you see that little light area there. So, just in case you're wondering. Okay, now you notice it looks like the blankets in behind there doing something, thing of its own. Here, here, keep that all nice and soft. Here, keep it soft. Build it up a little bit. Okay, and then we'll work on the onion a little bit and bounce a little bit back and forth. Up front here, we've got to really get it dark in there because that really matters. We'll brighten a few things up, like up in there. Okay, I am going to darken it up in here now, but just under the under the table. And then you'll kind of see that. 
there is one there. As soon as I put a, a lighter edge on it. That is going to be just a light gray. I got it kind of crooked. I <laughs> got it kind of crooked there, but I can get away with it. Okay, it's like I put a light edge right here. Get my cross here. Okay, and then we'll fade that. That'll give you the illusion of it's sitting. Kind of straighten that up. Get this black, it has to be black. So does that read up in there? Mm, that's pretty black, which is good. Can make that fairly dark when we get there. I need some black over here too. Yeah, my spreader. Oh, that might work. Don't hit the camera. Okay, sort of. We're getting there. We're getting closer all the time. Use the other end there because it's round. Come on. Come on down. Come to Papa. Lost my edge there a little bit there, so gain that back. Okay. Let's bring that down here, the black. So let's get this little stick. Because I need to go in there and re under there also and reinforce that blanket edge. And then I got very sharp contrast. And I'll have to refine these edges here. Like uh, with your pencil work and see, I notice now I'm gonna I'm pushing too hard where the stuff I use I don't push don't have to push this hard. It just keeps actually you gotta let up takes too much. Okay, now I want to do the same thing here because it also has an edge. Okay. A little illusion of some wrinkles in there. Folds I mean or wrinkles, folds, whatever you want. A little illusion of a dimple there maybe. Strengthen this line up a little bit. I think I'm using the violet right here. I'm going to switch a little bit to purple here. Coming closer. Might be a little bit too harsh though. But I have to get a sharp line under there. Just where it hits the blanket. And it goes off on its own. And again, rub it up there. Use my little stump, soften things up. I'm hoping that, uh, you know, this isn't too confusing or, you know, you always have the video to fall back on. That's one nice thing. Okay, but pretty well we got that going on maybe Just smoothing a few things out I'll touch that up with the black okay, where's my black black is black there's a darker violet but it's a black one here okay, I would uh, certainly round this off Yeah, and then go get it sharp under there because you know your eye is just wanting to go go there. 
And if you want it to, you know, sort of look real, you gotta get that part of it. No, I gotta bring a little light here. Right here, I'm gonna bring this a little wider so that it looks a little bit more. There. Okay, there, there, there. Now, same thing with this yellow. Get it back to yellow. Yeah, very important, especially around there. And then around here, anywhere where it's going to touch. Put that complement in there. Same thing in here. Now I'm going to bring that, work those shadows. Right there, those two right there. And what it does is that it, it surrounds, surrounds my uh, onion here, that shadow. And I want your eye to come around here. That's the same thing in here. Just strengthen this stuff up. It's sort of like wax on, wax off, I guess. Eh? <laughs> okay, I'm going to throw a little weight around those areas here in a bit. I'm going to make this come around here. Make it look like there's a fold there. Same thing on this side. Give some illusions here of more stuff happening. We want that white. I could be a little darker here, so let's do that. All through here. I'll try to leave a little bit of thing happening there. We'll go on here. Same thing here, we'll just go in there first just to reinforce the, the edge here and then fill it in. Hopefully it'll blend in. So I got the color of that paper coming through and I don't like it. But it is what it is, eh? Maybe I can do one on the paper that I use and okay. There, now I want a little bit of stuff on our main attraction here. Uh, this puppy here, going to go a little, not red, purple. Up in here a little bit. And i got to widen that up a little bit here. If I find a white pencil right there, bring the form back here a little bit of light on there, not much, don't want to take away from just like that. Okay, now on this one, I want to first we'll go like an onion is and I'll split it. Well, let's get some weight in there first, so I got a, a point to go by. Let's see, like that. And then I'm going to bring a black, black is black, right in here, and then up. And I want a lot of contrast right now. And as we know, the, these onions they split, and they got all kinds of stuff happening. And now I'm going to bring the back out a little bit, like that, bring, so I can lose it in here. Get it darker, okay, it create its own shadow, that black, okay, we're going to lose this black back here too. I'm going to smear it, so we lose it a bit. Because I want the center of interest to be up front here. So now we could probably come in here like it does and 
See if we can crack it. Spread it like that. Let's see, let's go another one. Just make it look like an onion. Okay, we're gonna split it all away. It's an old onion. <laughs> it's, been, <laughs> it's been hanging around for a while. Okay, maybe it's up in there. Well, what, I'm, what I want is some darks and some lights going on there. And then just marks. You got mark here. Okay, and then once I have that, then it's a matter of putting some light on there. But I want to go a little yellow. I want to keep it with the yellow. I'm going to use my little mall sticker, my nice little scratcher. Okay, and I'm going to try. First, I'm going to put some uh, white on. Because I don't want the white right now. And I'm just going to sh shoot a little yellow over there. The reason I put the white first is so that this yellow will take over top of my purple. A little easier. Okay, and then I'm just going to go on the edge here with the white. A little higher up. Okay, and then down a little bit. And then lay it along the top here. Might catch some light right on here. Probably catch light there, here, here. Mm, no, I don't put too much because this is the only white that I'll have on here. Okay, and then around my grape a little bit. And I want that grape a little bit in the shade here, this one. So I'm using a little purple. I'm not going much off of the colors I'm using. Then obviously on the bottom here, it's going to have its own little shade going on. A little darker in behind so I can still see it. Okay. And a little different color there. And then I just think I want a little bit of this pink here. Just to warm that. Same thing in here. Just to warm it up on this edge. And a dot. I'm just going to throw a little bit there and then rub it in just to give you a hint of a little bit of pink back here. But it won't be any but near the value there. There, I pretty well now I want to strengthen my shadows so ever so lightly because I got to make a little sharper edge here on the shadow. So that you know it's a shadow and not a fold. And this shadow now has to be basically the rate, same value as what I'm going into right there. Otherwise uh, you would never be fooled. So it's kind of, shadows are kind of tricky if they have stuff behind it. Like all this has to say the same value as this line. Otherwise you would never, you would say no that's not a shadow. But because it's the same color, you, which I better not get it too dark in there. And then the same thing with this. It has to be the same color, which I'm going to darken up a little bit because I want my little grape there, or whatever you want to think it is, to have a little shadow. Okay. And I am going to, because it's still too dull, I'm going to come back in there with the yellow and just strengthen that shadow line up a little bit. Not too much. I want it to stay a little, little blurred, but I don't want it, you know, it's straight. Okay. Just soften the transition from dark to light there. Same thing here, so it's smoother transition. Same thing here, but very lightly. Here, strengthen it, strengthen it, strengthen it. Put some light on top here, where it's going to hit. And I'm just going to lighten it up 
with the pencil up here, coming along the center of interest. It's almost, uh, it's almost there. More yellow. I don't want to take away that dullness there. Same thing there. Put a little white there first. If you want a little brighter yellow than what you got, just throw a little white down first and then go over it. White is chalky, so try not to use white on its own if you can get away with it. Like it's very nice, like right now, you know, to make that onion stand out. If I was to go on the very ends, just a dab here, dab there, dab here, go the opposite way here. And you wouldn't want to put any more white on there than that. And that to me is even, unless I put it, put it here, because it's just indicating, I gotta get, see I'm gonna put a shadow in behind before I forget. And right in behind the little puppy. See, I almost forgot. I would put this away for the night anyways, and I'll look at it in the morning and see if what I missed. See, that's one of them. And like I said, straighten out that line. Get a little darker in there, and that I need a little bit of black in there. Because I want it to be darker than the blanket, at least, because the blanket is yellow. So this is going to cast a, a darker little, well your eyes want to think it is, but okay, I like that. And same thing here, just I'm going to get close to it with the black, and just hit it like that, you, barely, you wouldn't notice that I did that. And same thing underneath where it lies. And a little bit on my grape because it's got to have a little bit of shadow also but I want to leave it a little lighter so you recognize there's something there. Okay, and I, we're almost, uh, you can call this uh, quits. Except for I wanted a little bit of white I said. And some of these areas here. Maybe a little bit more up there, keep it bright. Just because this is where our contrast is up on this onion. Okay, I think the pastel mat is starting to refuse color. And uh, pretty well, guys. That's how I go about it. You know, I could work on it forever, but I just want to lay down the foundation of something like this, the way I would uh, attempt this and lay it out for composition-wise. And But yes, that's, uh, I think we're going to pretty well call it there. Might crisp up a few corners here and there. And... Uh, Call it a night. <laughs> In here. This is where the stump comes very much in handy here. Something I would never get my finger and I would smudge too much with my finger if I tried. And then I'd ruin everything. This is much smoother. Okay. Well, I think you got the idea of how I do this and uh, thank you for joining me on this and hopefully maybe you catch my next one. I'm new to YouTube I'm just starting uh, I haven't even you know uh, launched my first video yet did one on drawing because I think that drawing is very important and uh, because with drawing if you're good at drawing, you'll recognize better compositions for yourself uh, because uh, then you won't ignore things that you think are hard. Okay, and take and just forget that composition. And as we do, we look at something and say, "No, I can't do that," and move on to the next. 
okay, only because we don't have confidence in ourselves. And if we have good drawing skills, I think that boosts our confidence and we take on bigger challenges. And uh, I think uh, we grow better. Is that a is that proper, proper English? Grow better? I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to leave it at that. It's been fun. And you all take care and take care of yourselves and your loved ones, especially in these times. It's awful. You can also look after each other. And uh, yes, I hope you enjoyed this and learned something. And like I said, ignore that piece up there because it's tape and so is the one down there. Awful color to start with, but hey, you work with what you got. Okay, and I would uh, maybe just straighten up the edge here a little bit just to get a little bit of oomph. Okay, that, that's that. <laughs> I keep saying that and keep going back and back. But it's good enough. You, you, you know, if you sharpen up these edges, that's all you need to do. It's been a lot of fun. You guys take care and uh, look after each other. Bye for now. Okay, I brought you back on this because I got up in the morning and had a look at it in some better light and did not like it. So what I went and did was uh, reinforced underneath here, made this darker. I didn't like the, the brown that was coming through here, taken away from in here. Still a little bit of brown, but I darkened it up in here, darkened it up in here. Uh, highlighted more yellow here because I didn't think it was uh, sharp enough. And, and in here, a little bit there and a little bit there. And basically that's all I did. I didn't touch up uh, pretty well anything else except add these darks right here in here and here and uh, strengthen up those lines a little bit okay and, that, and that's pretty well it and that's it for the I don't have a reference photo other than what you have here now because this was out of my head uh, when I painted it so uh, pretty well what you see is what you can work off of but I hope you enjoyed it and uh, it's been fun and uh, hope to catch you in the next video. Take care.